Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jamie and I'm finally posting my ColourPop haul. I've been talking about doing a ColourPop haul for a while here on my channel and I finally made the purchase. I only bought about seven or eight items, which I think is pretty good considering how many products are on my wish list. But if you wanna see the products that I purchased, just keep on watching. So the first two products that I purchased are ColourPop's blush and light sticks. Immediately when I saw ColourPop release this product, I knew I had to have it because I've been going through such a cream product phase. So I immediately went through all the colors they released and put my favorites on the wish list and the ones that I thought would work best for me. I got their light stick in the shade On The Glow and I'll do a swatch so we can see what that looks like. So that's what the shade looks like there. It's a really icy champagne, but if I blend it out, it's not as icy, but I do think if you have a skin tone that's darker than mine, this might be a little bit too fair for you. So I'm wrong. These are called the On The Glow Sticks and the highlighter is actually called Star Bright. I got the blush stick in the shade Mini Me and I'm so obsessed with this color. It looks a little something like this. It's just a beautiful like peachy, not even peachy, I said that last time. It's a beautiful just pink color and I think it looks so natural and it's so flattering for the spring and summertime. I got the opportunity to try these out on camera in that get, re get Ready With Me, and I'm so happy with how these performed, and I can't wait to test them out a little bit more. Another product that I purchased is their BFF Mascara. I have mine in the shade Black on Black, and as soon as this one was released, I knew eventually I was going to try it. I didn't think the color mascaras would work for me just because I'm not a colored mascara person, but so far I am so impressed with the black mascara, and it's actually what I have on my lashes today. So I'm gonna have to try this out more. I know some people have complained about this mascara flaking on them. So I'm gonna have to put the mascara to the test long-term to see if it works on my eyes and doesn't get everywhere. I purchased one of the ColourPop So Juicy lip glosses and mine's in the shade Princess Cut, which is just a clear. It's actually the lip gloss that I have on right now and it's supposed to be one of their plumping lip glosses. So far, I don't really notice a plumping effect, but I definitely feel that tingling. And I got a clear gloss because I feel like I would get the most use out of this color. And I surprisingly don't have a clear gloss on my collection yet. And I can pair this with any lip look just by adding a lip brush. So I'm gonna put this to the test more, but I'm so excited to pair it over other fun lipstick colors. I got three of the ColourPop cream gel liners. I got the shade Punch, which is a bright, punchy yellow. The shade Besto, which is like a purpley brown color. And lastly, I got the shade Teaspoon, which is is that considered teal? It's more of like a green with slight blue undertones. So do swatches of all three of the colors. So there is Punch, which is that bright yellow. The shade Teaspoon, which is that really cool green color. And the shade Besto, which is this purpley brown. So those are the three colors that I picked up. I have a few other of the ColourPop cream gel liners. I'm not sure if they reformulated these or just repackaged them, but I am excited about the packaging and how the colors throughout the entire pencil, I didn't think of the word, throughout the entire pencil because otherwise if I put the old packaging like inverted, I was unable to tell what color this is. I picked up some more colorful shades because I have my fill of neutral liners, but I love being able to add this as a pop of color on the waterline and it's super easy to add color to a neutral look. And the last thing that I purchased is one of the ColourPop X Kathleen Lights pigments. So this is from her Zodiac collection and I got the shade The Scales. I am not a Pisces, I am actually a Taurus, but this color called to me. It's actually what I have in my eyes right now. So we'll do a swatch of the pigment. If I can get it out without making a mess everywhere. So that's a swatch of the pigment there. It's a beautiful pink and it has some blue reflex. And upon first impression about using this, I am so impressed. I've always shied away from pigments because I thought they'd be a hassle to work with and just get all over the place. Once I saw Kathleen do her reveal video where she realized all you need is a little bit of setting spray or maybe a glitter glue, but I'm gonna use setting spray because it's easier. I was just like, oh my God, am I gonna be a pigment girl? Can I finally get use of the pigments in my collection? So I was able to play a little bit more with the pigments that I already owned, but I wanted to add to my collection. So I figured I would just start with one and then I could add more if I find that I'm really getting use out of this. My one gripe with the product is that it doesn't come with a stopper. It comes with this plastic piece which guards the product, 
but then it's kind of left loose. I think a, having a kind of like a shaker that I could pour it out into the lid would be easier because otherwise I can just see myself pouring this everywhere and getting it all over my clothes, all over my pants, all over my rugs, all over my bed, all over my house. But other than that, I'm really pleased with this product and it's only $5 and I think it's going to give me a good test as to whether loose pigments or something I'm realistically going to incorporate into my makeup routine. So those are all the products that I recently picked up with color, from ColourPop. But with ColourPop releasing products, every day virtually, there's definitely gonna be more ColourPop hauls on my channel because they're one of my favorite affordable brands. About 99% of the products that I try for them are hits and I'm so excited to test out some of these new products and see if they work for me and incorporate into my makeup routine. I'll definitely come back and talk about these products either in monthly favorite videos or in dedicated reviews and more get ready with me's because I really wanna be able to incorporate the makeup that I'm purchasing on my channel so you can see how it's used in real time. If you like this video, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. I post about two to three videos every week and I'm always hauling the new and greatest makeup so I can share it with you on my channel and provide really dedicated and thorough reviews. So if you like this video, I hope you'll consider subscribing and I'd love to see you back on my next video. Thanks for watching.